wanted us to kind of talk about co-teaching and how we feel about it, but this is all I've ever known, so I'm kind of curious what you think. Okay. Well, it's been interesting because I remember that you started with me as a Dixie College C student. I did. And so you have only seen co-teaching, but it's been three years now mm -hmm. that you've been teaching full-time. Okay, so when I started, we had a pullout, and that meant that the students who were under an IEP would actually leave my classroom and go to another classroom, and that's where they would spend their time in math. And I hardly ever got to know them. I didn't know what they were doing. They actually were not my students. They became the, res the resource or special ed students, and so it was like they weren't they would maybe have me for for math if they were low in math or high in math but low in language arts mm -hmm. but then my team person wouldn't have them in language arts so it was hard for us to really say we knew what the needs of this student were so it was so then we started doing the inclusion model which meant we just kept them in our classroom and modified and things like that and I thought it really helps us to take control and to manage what their the students are learning because the minute somebody else is in there, we're both able to meet any of the needs of any of the students instead of just those needs of the students that are struggling. So I have really enjoyed co-teaching because it just helps me feel like I can get so much more done and I give them more instruction, more help than I have ever been able to. Do you feel that way? or You know, it's funny because it's actually, it's really all I've ever known, but at the same time, I wouldn't do it any other way. <laughs> because the kids seem to fit into our classroom so much better, and all of the kids become a family and take care of each other. So I don't necessarily have to spend all my time with the lower kids because there's a lot of peer teaching going, or peer tutoring yes. going on. And I also notice with co-teaching that I have, you know, there's a big push this year for to differentiate high, medium, low. And I've noticed that if my co-teacher will teach to the middle, I can pull back and remediate, and I can also pull back and extend. So when they're doing their instruction, I can leave my high kids there and remediate the instruction down to the level of the lower kids. But then when they're actually doing their guided instruction and they're practicing, then I can pull back my gifted kids and we can work through some lessons that are a little bit above the rest of the class. So I love that, that I'm able to work with all of the different tiers because that is honestly where we're headed. So it's, it's been really good this year, especially we've gotten much better at it, I would say. Yeah. And the kids are really accepting, and most of the students don't realize that they're in special ed. So yeah. that's been really nice because I think it's, um, by the end of the year, you see a big confidence boost in your special ed kids because they don't feel like an outcast. I was going to say that too because I have some parents, when you have to start recommending students for special ed, mm -hmm. and they'll say, well, we don't want pullout. We don't want that. And we're, we're trying to tell them that doesn't happen at our school. We don't have that that label on them. They don't get up and they don't leave our classes. And I really have liked that idea. Because before, when they were leaving my room, who knew what time they ended up at the other room? Or what they were doing. And so it just, it really is. And I like the idea that you said that it's all, we're kind of a family. Because we do work at tables also, and we stress so much. Help each other at your tables and make sure you understand. And I'm with you. I think it's so much easier to have those struggling students have their peers teach them than us to reteach and reteach and reteach. And it's so much better for the peers because they actually have to understand it to explain it. So when they raise their hand, I go over there and make sure that they understand it, and then they can actually peer tutor, and both of them are making huge gains that way. Yes. So I, I actually really love it and I would recommend it. And I love that we feed into a school that also does this. So that when we do refer kids for an IEP or that they're, or, yeah, for an IEP that they can continue to have those services and not be isolated when they get to the middle school. Yeah. So that it carries over. So I think that's a bonus of the way they do it here. Yeah. So.